All right, so I just wanted to do a quick little intro to this cast net video. Uh, we were out fishing last night, and the conditions just weren't all that great. So uh, just wanted to do something a little more controlled environment real quick uh, and just go over this cast net. So what this one is is the uh, Betts Old Salt cast net. comes in a little container like this. Uh, this particular one is a 35 p.m. So this is basically the biggest one that you can buy in Minnesota with uh, the largest mesh in the... Uh, the most sinkers. The sinkers are closer, closer space than a, than a regular one, so it falls faster, um, which helps in your if, when you're in a little deeper water. Since we are uh, limited to the size in Minnesota here, and so before you run out and buy a cast net, um, I just wanted to mention that this is kind of a trial period, so it's going to go on for uh, maybe two or three years, and they're going to reevaluate it. So that's why there's some stipulations. Um, you have to go online. You have to fill out a uh, permit request. Uh, you have to take a, a quick course online. You just answer a few questions. You really can't fail, but it's just a training course for uh, uh, AIS, Aquatic, Aquatic Invasive Species. And then uh, you have to get the actual permit tags that go on the on the net. And like I said, it's limited to the Mississippi Rivers, uh, certain sections of the Mississippi River, and uh, certain sections of the St. Croix River. And it's only good for shad, and you can't transport the shad uh, off the body of water. You can only catch them and use them on the same body of water. So, like I said, there's some stipulations, but it's better than nothing. And like you'll see on the video, they they work great. Fresh shad work great for the sturgeon fishing. So, uh, here's a quick de uh, demo with me and uh, Steve DeMars and a few friends and uh, catching a few sturgeon afterwards. Thanks again for watching. Oh, and uh, I'll put links uh, in the comments. Check out the comments section or the description section. Uh, links to this cast net. I'll also put a link to the permit application. All right, so we're out here on the St. Croix. We're going to go fishing here in a little bit, but we thought we'd do a little demonstration on these cast nets. So with the cooperation of uh, the Minnesota DNR and our catfish sturgeon group, spearheaded by Steve running the camera there, we got these cast nets legal. There are a few stipulations, so this one here is three and a half feet. So this is the max you can use in Minnesota currently. It's uh, seven feet in diameter. They go by radius when you buy it, so three and a half. And then they have to be monofilament, and they have to be three eighths inch uh, mesh. So here's how I throw it. There's dozens of ways to throw it. Make sure you coil up the rope. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do it this way. Like I said, there's plenty of ways to do it. I grab, this is called the horn here. I grab the horn with my right hand. I just kind of grab the lead line here. I apologize, it's a little windy out here, but I grab it like this, and then I throw it all my right hand and we're in about 11 feet of water here. They're just random pods of shad so we're trying to hover over them and catch them. Of course we got nothing in this throw but if you look in the uh, bucket here you can see this is what we caught so far. It's great sturgeon bait right there. All right so I'll have uh, Steve show you how he throws his now. Trying to find pods as Nice pod there right now. All right, so Steve's going to show us how he does it. Now, I'm right-handed, but the way I do it is everything goes in my left hand. So I coil the rope up, put it in my left hand, and I grab the horn. It's the blue part here. I hold that in my left hand. And I just want to make sure everything is is uh, not tangled up in in uh, weights. Then I take the bottom of the weight, I take it up, and I put that in my mouth, just like that. Then I grab it, and I just Perfect. And you hope for shed. And you hope for shed. And we had a pretty good school down there. So we'll see. So Steve was a real big part of getting these nets legalized. So after doing it a few months, what do you think, Steve? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. And uh, we're getting good fresh bait, and it's free, and uh, can't beat it. Well, hopefully we can get a few more. We're gonna go catch some fish either way, right? Yep, we're ready to go. It's not the uh, most ideal conditions out here right now, but nope. like I said, we got some. We're gonna turn those into sturgeon. Oh, here he comes. Not huge. Nope. He's got a lamprey on him though. I'm not gonna tell. Yeah. 
He's got a weird coloring to him. Yeah, look at he him. He does, yeah. He's a, a Tommy Two Tone he's over a here. Silver. Or they call it piebald? Yeah. The piebald strigan. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say 44 and a half. <laughs> All right, well, make sure we got it. Six, forty-seven, 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 forty-seven. Oh, big fish of the night! <laughs> right? You just never know. Yeah. Oh, he's digging now. <laughs> what did I say was going to happen at eleven thirty? Well, that fish is trying to find every line in the boat. Oh, that's, that might be the big one of the night. It's close. There he goes. It's a contender. I bet you he's 50 inches. 48.